The moon is made out of Swiss cheese. <laughs> There's a man living on the moon. Did you know that the moon turns the tides on the earth because of gravitational forces? Everyone that one's actually that. true. Everyone the other knows. ones were not true because I'm drunk. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Alright guys, so we got a new camera from QHY and it's a planetary camera and we never did planetary before. It's been like five years now uh, in this hobby and we never tried actual planetary imaging um, you know, in depth. So tonight we're going to try that and it's going to be so uh, exciting. And I think we can try Jupiter, Saturn, and the, moon. the Moon, and I think Mars. I think Mars is right there. So we could try Mars too. So we can try all four. <laughs> so we've only done, I think, Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars uh, using our DSLR camera, but we never actually went deeper into this completely different side of this hobby, which is planetary. So today um, I'm going to try this camera here, which is our very first planetary camera. It came out a few weeks ago and it came with two filters. So I'm gonna have to learn what those do. I think one of them is for Jupiter uh, because Jupiter has some uh, special uh, you know, light bands, I'm not really sure, that has to pass through uh, the sensor. So this filter here is a IR850, whereas this one here is a UV IR cut. So uh, I'm gonna see which filter uh, is best used and when, and then I'm going to uh, try to finally get a good image of a planet, right? So before I try those, I think tonight I'm going to try just the camera by itself, um, just on you know all planets currently in the sky, so Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, and maybe the Moon as well. So we're going to try that. I'm pretty sure the result will be terrible. I'm sure, but my challenge will be to try to learn over time and get better and better results with without changing the camera. So with you know with this camera only. So I really want to show the progress we make from today until you know a few weeks or a few months from now using just the same camera but with just a difference of skill okay so we're actually using the orion 8 inch astrograph which is our biggest one um, and we are connecting the um, qhy camera here let me use a flash just here we had to use some kind of uh, um, extender to reach back focus but um so far so good Our first target will be the most beautiful planet of all, Saturn. I spent three days learning fire capture, but when trying it tonight, for some reason the frames per second could not go above 3 or 3.5, so I switched to SharpCap. SharpCap has all QHY camera drivers integrated and so it was a breeze to just connect to it. The FPS was now between 40 and 115. Yes, Saturn, I think. Has to be. There we go. So right now I have the live view of Saturn and trying to get the perfect focus. Um, so I'm zoomed in almost all the way. It's really hard to tell where the focus point is. I'm trying to find the sweet spot, like looking at the bands, but it's really hard. It's capturing, so there is two minutes left. It's like nothing is moving right now, mm -hmm. but because of the uh, atmosphere, everything is like jumping around. All right, so we're capturing Saturn now. We have um, 45 seconds to go and Hopefully, it's gonna look nice when we stack everything. Then we can try the moon afterwards. That's too bright. <laughs> oh, see? Capture complete. So... And if we... Oh yeah, we have to change... We have to play with the... Um, white balance to make it the right color. Which color is Saturn? Like this? I feel like it's very beigey. Yeah. So beigey, pinky. Don't make it green. Green isn't in space, you know that. Maybe... 
Ah, it's too blue. Even little yeah. bear wants to do some planetary imaging. Hi, little bear. Oh, that's no. not okay. Oh, scared me. Good job. Sit down. Have some fun with us. Well, I'm going to refocus so we can see if. Uh, refocus. Yeah, refocus. 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 I stacked the frames on Auto Stacker 2. Then process Saturn on Registax. But I have no idea what I'm doing, so I just randomly moved all the sliders. Okay, we're going to slew the camera to the moon now, and I mean, the telescope rather, and we'll try to see if we can capture the moon easily with this camera. It's a one shot color camera, so I'm guessing it's gonna be easy for the moon, right? Let's see. The sky moon. I guess we'll see what happens. Incredible. What do we have here? It looks Oof. like it do be pointing at the right place. Look how bright it is. I can't even see. My eyes are dead. <laughs> now that's a spicy meatball. So I'm gonna try to aim at like a specific corner maybe. Oh, and let's do that one. Ooh, that's pretty popular. People like that one. Hello. Oh my god. I never know which ones to use. Like this? Yeah. And if I'm wrong, everybody can tell me in the comments. And here we can um, change the white balance. So here's the moon, folks. <laughs> the blood moon. Here's a blood moon. All right. Now show us a blue moon. Here is a November uh, aquatic moon. blue moon. The moon is ours. <laughs> Here, once again, I had no idea what I was doing, and it took forever to stack. I used Lightroom instead of Register Stack this time. In the end. I actually like how it turned out. It's our first close-up of the moon ever, and it's not too bad. And this happened. Yeah, that was expected, I'm sure. Those files are so huge. All right, I deleted half of the files on my computer, and now it is time for some Jupiter. It looked really, really blurry because it was getting kind of low in the sky. But after stacking, it of course became much crisper. I'm not proud of this one, but next time I guarantee it will be much better. Let's jump to our next target, Mars, which was really low in the horizon, terrible for planets, so it looked even worse than Jupiter. I'm going to spare you hearing me complain about not knowing what I'm doing again, and here is the result. Alright guys, so let's compare our uh, DSLR images with those new ones with this camera here. So here is Saturn, here is Jupiter, here is uh, Mars, and here is the Moon. So um, obviously those are not spectacular, but I think it's going to be exciting to see our progress over time with uh, the same camera here. So uh, we don't plan to change the camera. We don't care enough about planetary imaging to you know invest in a monochrome camera. So I think for us this uh, QHY 462 color is perfect. So we're going to use this camera only uh, over time and see, uh, look back at those pictures and see what changed in our skills and uh, if we can get some incredible ones, hopefully, right? Let us know if you like those planetary um, videos. I don't plan to make many of those. I know we are more of a deep space uh, couple, right? So um, we probably will do those like once every you know few months, right? So um, yeah, hopefully we will learn and get great planetary images. So we'll see you guys next time and class guys.